your video to Google Drive. You log in with your school account to Google. Um, you probably have to go to the Waffle and Drive, but then once you're in Drive, you say New, File Upload. Then you find your, make sure it's the MP4, and I know it's really difficult to see, but you should be able to see your logo. It's not these Premiere projects. Then choose for Upload. And hopefully mine won't take 14 minutes, um, but it will upload. You then go to new Google slide. And you can exile this theme unless you want like a black background, doesn't matter. Then you go insert video, and it will have your Google Drive here, and so that, that video that I just uploaded is not finished yet, so I'm just going to select this one. So then you can just make it a little bigger. Since this is a workaround right now, we'll just make it. You don't have to worry about those format options and all that fun stuff. So then you have this. I would change this title to whatever your last name podcast. And so it's automatically saved then in your drive. Then you come over to your portfolio. And yes, I have a bazillion here, so let me delete these. Okay. Make sure that you are on the portfolio, not the blog portion or the home. So make sure you go to portfolio. Over here in this panel is the insert panel. You scroll down until you see slides. You select slides. And then it will bring up your slide that you just did. You select that and say insert. There it is. And you, this should be your first one there, so um, you shouldn't have other projects yet. Then you can add text. Um, if you want to do this first and then add, um, select from your drive, you can do that too if you want it to look a little more fancy. You can come over to this recent, and it should have it there. I'm going to have 20 different things here. <laughs> and then you can put um, whatever you want here. Very first podcast, whatever you want to put there. Okay, and then this is where you would put your paragraph description. Okay, and I think that is it. Oh, one more step. The most important step is hitting publish. And remember, before you're published, it always shows you what you changed. And just make sure it's in there. And then you hit publish. And bam. Then you're ready to fill out your rubric and submit that to Schoology.